just talk about it, have the conversation. It may be a hard conversation. There may be some breakups. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. If you haven't already done so, I do have a Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and check those out. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I would really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about relationships in higher education, more specifically, PA school. Can you have a relationship in PA school, right? I know a lot of you are probably in a relationship or maybe you are talking to somebody, you know, like it's not official or anything like that. And you're wondering like, okay, if I'm going away to school for two to three years, is this going to be feasible? The easy, simple answer is yes, of course you can have a relationship in PA school and in any higher education. But wait, there's more. Is it going to be easy if it's long distance? No, but you definitely have to be committed to it, right? If you guys are in a relationship where the person that you're with is very supportive, then you're golden. I mean, they're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that you're succeeding at what you wanna do with your life, and they're gonna support you with that. But you have to have these conversations prior to applying to schools and getting into schools. Why do I say prior to applying to schools? Because let's say you have um, a boyfriend or girlfriend and you are in Florida, right? And then you're applying to schools in California, but they have an established career in Florida. You didn't talk to them about that? That's a problem, you guys, it's a problem. You need to make sure that they know, hey, I'm applying to schools across the country and if I get in, I'm going because getting into PA school is not an easy thing. What do you think about that? You know, do is it possible for you to move with me? Would you be willing to move with me? Should we stay here? Should I stay in like this little hub of Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana that's close to Florida or the schools in Florida? If I can't get into a school in Florida, how far do you think I should go? Like these are conversations that you wanna have, especially if it's a relationship that you are trying to keep, that if it's a serious relationship, have these conversations. If not, then, who cares? Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, why are you even in the relationship if it's not that serious, right? Like, who cares? You could do whatever you want to do. But you definitely need to have these conversations. Once you're in PA school, it is going to be difficult. You're constantly studying. Um, you don't have the time to talk on the phone like you did before. You don't have the time to go out like you used to. Um, your whole life changes. So it is very important that your significant other is well aware of the changes that are going to come with with PA school. You're going to spend more time with your classmates over the next like 24, 27 months than you do with your significant other and your family. It's just, it's, it's, it's not, um, I'm not like beating around the bush about it. Like that, it just is what it is. It's going to happen. Um, and they have to understand that it's just for, a t it's for a, a time period. It's just for a moment in history so that you can better yourself for a lifetime. Right? So when you're having these conversations, like be serious about it, understand exactly what you're willing to sacrifice and not, and then talk to your significant about, signif and then talk to your significant other about it because it is important that you guys are on the same page. I was in a long distance relationship in college and it was the best thing that I could have ever did. We talked on the phone all the time because that's all we could do. We got to know each other extremely well and um, that's who I married. And had some babies with. But um, it was great for me. Um, but a long distance relationship is not for everyone. And so you have to know that as well. Can you function in a long distance relationship? If you're not the type of person that can be apart from the person that you're with, if you need to have that, that actual like proximity, like close proximity there, then maybe you shouldn't be in a long distance relationship and you should only apply to schools that are close by your significant other. Trust me, I feel like that is limiting yourself a little bit just because, again, I'm a big proponent in apply, apply, apply wherever you can. And once you get in, say yes and go, just move. But 
if you're concerned about that relationship and you know yourself that you cannot function well in a long distance relationship, then you make the best decision for you, okay? So basically what I'm saying is, yes, you can be in a relationship, but you have to be informed. You have to let everyone in the relationship, I mean, hopefully it's just the two of you, but yeah, all, both parties in the relationship have to understand what it's gonna take to become a PA, what it's gonna take from you to just maintain your grades and what it's gonna take from them to help and support you on this path. And then you also will have to be engaging as well and supporting them in what they're doing. So just talk about it, have the conversation. It may be a hard conversation. There may be some breakups, but it, it, it will be for the betterment of yourself, your relationship, your friendship, um, everyone. Because the worst thing that can happen is for you guys to try to be in a relationship, it doesn't work, and then you ruin that really great friendship that you had and you can no longer be friends after it, right? So hopefully that was helpful. Just stay strong, you guys. You guys can make it. I have the utmost faith in you. You will be fine. Your relationship, school, everything will be good. Just communicate. Communication is key and you will be okay. All right, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Join me on this journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next week. Later!